I think at the start of the season as a, as a group, um, we had aspirations uh, to be up there in the playoffs and I think I think obviously the start we had um, was obviously quite poor. Um, a lot of reflection needed in, in, in the group um, and when things aren't going right it's, it's inevitable that the manager has to leave and I think obviously the manager left um, and then our now, now manager Johnny Jackson took over and, and he galvanised the group um, and got us together and, and we really really took what he, what he told us to do on board and I think we showed that on the pitch for a while and then we went through a bit of a dip um, and now we're just starting to get back on track now and I think maybe coincided with losing um, a few key players at the time um, but again we still had a, we had a big squad this year and I think we've all got to be accountable uh, for our performances this year and we have underachieved and that's, and that's the truth. Um, so yeah we're, we're all disappointed because you get towards the end of the season now and you're getting a few results, we got a big result at Rotherham away or up, right up there and you think what could have been and I think looking back at the season now it's, it's been a real disappointment so I think now moving forward we've got to look towards next season um, there's a lot of players out of contract including myself um, so the club obviously needs to look towards next season and, and start pushing uh, to where, where what the squad they want and, and how they want to play and, and hopefully have a, a positive season next year. I think when results um, aren't going well for you um, it's inevitable like I said before that the manager goes and I think what did help um, with, with the manager coming in it's now is he knows the club he knows what is expected and he, and he put that straight to the players I think from my point of view it was really backing that up from what the manager said getting behind the players making sure the lads weren't too down when we, when we were losing just trying to pick the, pick the morale of the group up and I think that's important and then when, once you get that result um, it then just kicks on and, and, you, and you move forward but then once you do get a positive result, you don't want to get too high with that positive result and then you get another low. So it's just keeping that, that medium level and um, keeping that level, level field and keep going, going from there. Obviously, we had Sam got injured in the game before. Um, Ryan, come on, got sent off. Um, we travelled with 19 to Wimbledon and I was left out of the squad. Um, so I didn't expect to play at all. And then obviously they got injured, suspended. Um, Ben was supposed to be starting and, and then Ben come out in training struggling with a dead leg so then I got put in so I was just, I was just delighted to, to get an opportunity um, to play and then in a game where we got nothing to lose really against one of the top teams in the division um, playing against Michael Smith um, I've had a good few battles over the years with him um, so no I was, I was just relishing the battle and couldn't wait to get out there and, and hopefully that showed on the pitch and we got a real positive result. In football, you get to 30 years old and everyone says you're finished. And I've, I've always had a professional attitude, tried to do everything right on and off the pitch um, to give myself the best opportunity on the pitch. And, um, and I feel like I've done that. And I, like you said, I'm, I'm 34 now. Um, whether or not I had doubters, I feel like this season I, I signed a contract um, which the club gave me, which was for a backup role. Um, obviously, I was disappointed with that because I felt like I still had a big part to play and I think I've proved that this season with the amount of games I've played this season. So, um, yeah, there, there might be doubters out there, but I still know I've got a lot to give. Um, whether that be in, in a backup role at times, because obviously I'm getting older, I'm an experienced player, um, I feel like I'd be good, good to have around the place, but you're always trying to prove people wrong, you know, and I think, uh, like I said, I've, I feel like I've done that in the performances I've given this season. Um, do I, I feel like I could have played more? I, I, I do feel like I could have played more as well. Um, I feel like I've been unlucky to lose my, lose my place at times, but that's football and, and I think you, you have to go and show the right attitude on the training pitch, show your disappointment on the training pitch and, and work hard as you can. So, so yeah, for this season, yes, for me, I'm, I'm pleased that I've played the games I have. Um, disappointed I haven't played as more, but, um, but yeah, moving forward, I'm sort of at a crossroads now, if I'm honest. Um, I feel I could play, carry on playing for another two, two seasons, if not more, and I feel I've kept myself fit. But also, I'm, I am doing a bit of coaching and I'm really enjoying that and I want to give back to the younger players and, and help them as well. So, and I feel like I've got a real good affiliation with the club. So, no, at the moment, it's been sort of preliminary talks, but 
I don't know what's happening, I've had nothing firm, um, so obviously I'm, I'm going to have to keep my options open. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'd love to stay at the club, I love the club, um, but yeah, I'm not sure what the club are thinking, so just have to wait and see. But no, I've been working hard for sort of five, six, seven years now on the coaching side and, and, and it's given me a different perspective on the game. Um, so I try and look at it differently, even when I don't play, I try and watch the games back and see where, where we could help, where I could help and what, what we could do and just trying to, from, from a personal point of view, trying to learn. So no, I'm, I'm always trying to learn um, and yeah, like you said, in the gantry, I was watching the game, looking down, I've done it at the, the, the home, home game recently as well. So no, I'm enjoying that part of it. So. Obviously, I know I'm getting older um, and, and that is going to come at some point. So I'm just trying to give myself the best opportunity. So when I do go into that coaching role, that um, I'm ready for it and, and I do the best I can. I try to sort of help the younger players, obviously Mason coming through, Deji, Josh Davison. I've done a lot of work with like, some of the players out on the training pitch and I've, I've loved it, to be fair, like planning sessions, going through analysis. Um, I've, sp I've spoken to the, to the gaffer about it. Um, and, he, and he's been really receptive to it and, 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 and allows me to go and do that, which is great. And I feel like I know what, what the gaffer wants in terms of how he wants to play. Um, so, so he gives me that freedom to go and do that. So, no, I, I really relish doing that. Um, again, another, another person who's been real key to helping me is Anthony Hayes in the 23s and, and Sens. And they've been great with me and really, really helped me to try and learn. And, they're, they're great and, and giving me things to look at, and so yeah, I've, I've been I've been lucky with, with what we've got here um, and the opportunities that, that there is here, and I just hope that me being here, my affiliation with the club, the club look at that and, and want to keep me on board. I'm I'm keen to do that, but obviously, like I said, nothing's been really spoken about, and uh, so I'm I'm not sure what what the future holds yet.